Hi friends, welcome to Think Beyond Success Online English. In today's video, we are going to learn how to comfort, how to console somebody who is undergoing some tough time or challenging situation. So friends, to practice this, we have two characters. The characters names are Raj and Simran and Simran is undergoing some tough time and Raj is consoling, comforting Simran. So let's see how the conversation goes. Please do watch carefully. Comforting a friend. How to console someone who is feeling sad or depressed? The conversation between Raj and Simran. Conversation between Raj and Simran. Raj, hey Simran, you seem a bit down today. Is everything okay? Simran, I don't know Raj. I have just been feeling really low lately. Everything seems so overwhelming. Raj, can I tell you something? Simran, sure. Raj, I know you're feeling down, but I want you to remember it's not going to be like this forever. Things will get better, I promise. Simran, that's easy for you to say. If you were in my place, you would have never said the same thing. Raj, I get where you're coming from, but trust me, everyone has their own struggle, their own moments where they feel lost. It's not just you. Simran, I know. But I just feel like I am at the rock bottom. It's like there is no way up from here. Raj, I'm really sorry you are feeling this way. But you have been through tough times before, haven't you? And you have always come out stronger. I truly believe you will again this time. Simran, it just feels different this time. Like maybe I'm not stronger enough to get it through. Raj, I understand why you might feel that way, but you are stronger than you think. I am not just saying this to make you feel better. I have seen it happen. People go through the darkest time and come out on the other side, more resilient, more wise. I have seen it in people close to me and I know you have the strength too. Simran, I appreciate that Raj, but it's hard to see the light at the other end of the tunnel right now. Raj, it's okay to feel that way. But remember, you don't have to go through this all alone. I'm here for you every step of the way. We will go through this together. One step at a time. Here, give me a hug. Simran, thank you, Raj. Your support means a lot to me. Maybe with you by my side, I can start believing things will get better soon. Raj, absolutely. We will get through this together and whenever you want to talk, I am here. Thank you. So friends, now let's move to vocabulary section and phrases. So our first phrase here in the list is, I get where you are coming from. The phrase I get where you are coming from means that the speaker understands the other person's perspective, feelings or reasoning. It is a way of expressing empathy or acknowledging that they see things from the other person's point of view. For example, if someone says, I get where you're coming from, they are saying, I understand why you feel that way or why you think that way. Our next phrase is feeling low. Feeling low means feeling sad, depressed or lacking energy and motivation. It's a way of describing a state where someone isn't feeling their best emotionally and might be down or discouraged. It is a common phrase used to express a general sense of unhappiness or a drop in mood. Now our next vocabulary is overwhelm. Overwhelm means to overpower or crush someone with a strong force of emotion, making it difficult for them to cope. It can refer to both physical and emotional experiences, for example, emotionally. If someone is overwhelmed with grief, joy or stress, they feel these emotions so intensely that it is hard for them to manage or think clearly. Situationally, if someone is overwhelmed by work or responsibilities, they have so much to do that they feel they can't keep up or handle it all alone. 
our next vocabulary word is lately lately means recently or in the recent past it's used to refer events or situation that have occurred or started happening not long ago for example if someone says i have been feeling tired lately they means they have been feeling tired in the recent days or week at the rock bottom the phrase at the rock bottom means being in the lowest possible situation often emotionally or mentally it describes a state where someone feels they can't get any lower often due to extreme difficulty or hardship come out stronger this phrase come out stronger means to emerge from a difficult situation or experience with a great strength resilience or wisdom than before it suggests that although the person faced challenges or adversity they were able to grow and improve as a result this phrase is often used to encourage someone going through tough times implying that they will be better and stronger once they overcome their difficulties by my side the phrase by my side means to have someone close to you providing support comfort or companionship it can be both physical presence literally standing or sitting beside you or an emotional one being there for you during the tough time when someone says i am glad you are by my side they are expressing appreciation for having someone who supports them and stay with them through challenges so friends here we come to end of the conversation and i hope you might have enjoyed my today's class if you find my this class knowledgeable then please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel Thank you.